Are you bored? Bored of cookie cutter new construction, of beige townhouses, of gray flipped homes, of pale innocuous blue cabinetry? Well, if you're tired of boring real estate, you came to the right place. Because today, I'm gonna give you a tour of this artsy, adorable cottage that is anything but boring right here in the heart of South Park. So where can you find a single family home that's not a cheesy cheap flip or boring new construction? Well, right here in South Park. Today I'm gonna to show you this adorable artsy cottage that is definitely not boring. I mean, this home is freaking purple and not a pale purple. We're talking a luscious, bold purple. And the inside is just as bold as the outside. So if you haven't already guessed, our seller is an artist. And when we did the walkthrough with her of the home, we wanted to make sure that we all did what needed to be done so the home would sparkle, but not get rid of any of the character. Now, our artist seller bought this home in 2019, but it had been completely rebuilt in 2012. Rebuilt from the ground up practically. I mean, this was an ugly, dark, cramped, kind of rundown property. And now it is a brand new, shiny two bedroom home with this incredibly new everything. I mean, we're talking new roof, new paint, new deck, new plumbing, new kitchen, new bathrooms. There is nothing you need to do except move in and buy some funky furniture. The other thing I really love about the home is the re-envisioned space really makes the small footprint of this home seem way bigger than it is. I mean, the flow from the main area to the kitchen, to the dining room and out to the deck and backyard is fabulous. And this yard is super cute. It's cozy and private and a perfect spot for you to let your artistic visions shine. To get more information and see more photos of this rad South Park home, just go to the link in my bio. So I already mentioned that our seller was an artist. What I didn't mention is that some of her art actually comes with the home. These adorable bright metal flowers adorning the fence in the backyard and the front yard were made by the seller in 2020. Now, although she loved how they looked on her fence, she made way more of them than she could actually use. So a friend of hers encouraged her to sell them, which she agreed to do, but she decided to give those proceeds to help fund the food tables in South Park. All in all, she raised over $10,000 to fund neighbors in need in her South Park neighborhood. And you can see some of these adorable flowers adorning yards all over the area. This vibrant creativity is what makes this home so special. It also is what makes South Park so special. I mean, South Park is represented by the name community. People making art, sharing their art, and helping to support each other in the process and improving the neighborhood. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed our tour of this artsy cottage in South Park. And if there's something you'd like to know more about, please just drop it in the comments below. Now, preferably real estate, but I'm not opposed to giving my opinion on gay romances or my favorite Star Trek episodes. This is Kim Colopretti with Team Diva at Cobble Banker Bain saying, ciao for now.